So this video is going to be about how to mix your C41 color film development chemicals. So first things first, you're going to need your color chemicals themselves. So they come in both liquid and powder kits. Most of the time I usually get the Unicolor powder kit, but this was the only kit available on Freestyle Photo. Freestyle Photo is where I buy all of my film chemicals and most of my fresh film. This is the Arista C41 kit. So this kit and most other C41 kits that you can buy now are three bath kits. So you've got your developer, your Blix, which is a bleach and fixer together, and a stabilizer bath at the end. So you've got your chemicals, but you also need something to mix them in. You need a pitcher or a bowl or something. Make sure that once you designate one of these to mix your chemicals with, never use it for anything else, especially for drinking making tea. This is not stuff that you're gonna want to ingest. So I've got a spoon and a straw that I've marked to make sure that I don't use it to drink out of just for mixing the chemicals. You also need something to dilute the chemicals with. Distilled water. You can use normal water, which I've done before a lot, but using distilled water is better because you'll be less likely to get hard water stains on your film after it dries. But after that you need some sparkling water. No, what these are for are for holding the diluted chemicals. So like I said, you have three. I always like putting my developer in a strawberry bottle. And the Blix goes in the most edgy bottle I can find. And the stabilizer is bluish to me. It's just how it feels. So I get these because they're the cheapest one liter, one quart bottles I can find. They're about 79 cents at the grocery store. Every grocery store has like their generic sparkling water brand. And then you're gonna need a pair of gloves, which I guess isn't totally necessary, but I recommend it to keep your hands from touching the chemicals as much as you can. I'm using a disposable vinyl gloves. You can buy like a hundred pack for like six bucks. You're also gonna want three different funnels. One for developer, one for Blix, and one for stabilizer. Make sure you reserve each of these to only ever funnel that particular chemical. Since I've started developing color film, which is like three years ago, I've always used this funnel for developer, this one for Blix, and this one for stabilizer. It just makes it less likely that you'll contaminate one of the other chemicals if you haven't washed off one of the funnels well enough. So first things first, make sure you dispose of your sparkling water. You rinse out all of your sparkling water bottles. Make sure there's no food or dishes in the sink. Like I said before, you don't want to mix these chemicals with things that you're going to be eating off of or ingesting. Now put your pitcher in the sink and fill up your pitcher to about half of a liter. Pour in your developing chemicals. Developer A. Developer B. Developer C. Add water to equal one liter, mix it all up, grab your developer bottle and funnel, and pour your developer into the developer bottle. Make sure you give everything you're using a really good rinse. I usually rinse four or five times just to make sure everything's clean. Then pour another half of a liter into your pitcher. Pour in your three Blix chemicals, Blix A, Blix B, Blix C, fill up to make one liter, mix it up really well, grab your Blix funnel and your Blix bottle, pour your Blix into the Blix bottle. you're almost done. Rinse everything out. This time fill up your pitcher to a little bit less than a liter. Pour in your stabilizer chemical. Add water to equal a liter. Mix it all up. Grab your stabilizer funnel in your stabilizer bottle and pour your stabilizer into the bottle. Once all of your chemicals are mixed, make sure that you Squeeze each bottle until almost no air is at the top. Make sure you tighten it good before you let go. What you're trying to do here is keep any air from being in the bottle. Supposedly the more air you have in the bottle, the quicker your chemicals will go bad. After that, give your sink a good clean. 
Now you should have all the chemicals you need to develop color film at home. This is a one quart kit, but one quart is basically the same as a liter. Diluting your chemicals that much more probably isn't going to make a perceptible difference. Also, your instructions are probably going to say use hot water to mix your chemicals. It's not totally necessary, it just helps the chemicals dissolve faster and also brings the liquids close to the temperature you're going to want to use to develop. If you're going to develop your film right away, sure you can use warm water, otherwise I would just use room temperature water. So the instructions say that 8 rolls of 36 exposure, 35 millimeter film is the capacity for this developing kit. I've easily developed at least 20 rolls on 1 liter of developer and still gotten good results. This is my last batch of chemicals. I think I developed about 20 rolls with this and I probably could keep going. Your results may vary. I would recommend just using the same kit until you see results that you don't like. And it's usually going to be a gradual change, if any. The only reason your chemicals would go bad right away is if you contaminated your developer with Blix. So you always want to make sure you're mixing your chemicals in order from developer Blix to stabilizer. Just keep good care of your chemicals. Make sure you squeeze out the extra air every time you're closing them back up for storage. And there's no reason you shouldn't get more than 20 rolls per liter of developer. It is completely normal for your chemicals to change color over time. My developer is like a very, very dark pomegranate. And Blix is almost a pomegranate blood red. Stabilizer is turning like a light pink. Got our strawberry, of course. This is actually the Cine Still liquid color kit, which might be the same thing as the Arista. This kit, I think, was about $25 on Freestyle Photo, which really isn't that bad, but the reason I bought it was because it's actually the only one they have left. Like, I went to the Unicolor website, and supposedly there's like a worldwide C41 shortage right now. I don't know how, and I don't know why is the only one that's available. But essentially, they're all the same. And some of the brands will just take other chemicals, put their label on top of the other person's label, and sell it as their own. This is the first of hopefully many, many more videos I'm going to be making about developing film, shooting film, all the sorts. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you like this video, leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see more videos about film, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Chemical. Uh.